I bet y'all like, not girl, why did you jump on camera looking like that? But let me explain, so. <laughs> hey, y'all, how y'all doing today? It's Jay with the Curls. Welcome back to my channel. And if you will, go ahead and take one second. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you. So, um, today, we're going to be doing a wash and go. I know I've been doing wash and goes a lot lately, but lately they've been my thing. But today, I have this. I'm not sure if it's new, but I do work at Walmart, and I was just, you know, cruising around a little natural hair section, per usual, trying to find a sale. I ain't find one this time, but um, I ran upon this Eco Styler Gel right here, and if it's new, then somebody comment down below, let me know. If not, then we're probably just late getting it, or whatever, or my first time seeing it, or whatever. So, um, I have this right here. And if you couldn't clearly see that, that says it's the um, Eco Style Professional Styling Gel KGL Keratin Growth Factor. And it said it's, it promotes thicker, fuller hair. And it got biotin in there. So, okay. So, you know, we got to be careful with that biotin, honey. But I, it ain't going to hurt me right now. I can use a little bit of it. Um. I'm really excited to see how this turns out because just looking through this right here looks pretty thick. But this is not the only thing we're going to be using today. I'm also going to be using this new product that I just recently found called a curl kicker. Now, I did do a product haul. And I will have to upload that if I haven't already done it. But I did do a product haul and um, I got this on clearance. Now... I didn't realize it said it was for me until after I bought it, but however, we're going to see what it do, you know? So, um, let me go ahead and pop this bad boy open to show y'all. I'm going to take it off. If it come off, it looks like it won't come off. Ooh. <laughs> this is like protein, honey, but it is thick as all our doughs, honey. Thicker than some cornbread sugar. Like, I really feel like this is going to be super moisturizing just by looking at it, you know. And I feel like it's going to give me a great hold. So, that's that. Let me show y'all how this looks. So, I'm not going to leave a using, uh, look at me. I'm not going to leave a leave-in con. I'm not going to use a leave-in conditioner today because I just want to see how these products work, you know. This is the Curl Kicker. This has a thick consistency also. Hopefully, it'll be very moisturizing now. Y'all know this is just another crazy combo, honestly. I didn't do a, um, the little mixture test or whatever. I didn't do that because we're going to wean this thing and see how it come out. Now, um, and I also have my spray water here. I ain't got nothing but warm water in here today. And I already sectioned off my hair. Now, I know you guys are saying, Jazz, you're doing a wash and go. Why is your hair like sectioned off like this? Because what I'm about to do is I'm about to braid this part down and braid that part down because I just don't feel like hair being in my face right now. So, enough of that. Let's get started. So, what I'm going to do, this is not the best spray water I have. It be spraying all crazy. So, you'll see. So, I'm going to wet this a little bit more, this front piece. Okay, we got that going. And also, you guys may notice that I haven't shown you a comb. I'm trying to stray away from combs because I just feel like my ends are not where they need to be. I did trim them, maybe not enough, but feel like the comb just been breaking off my ends a little bit and we can't have that so i'm about to apply this this is the texture this is the um curl kicker by jimmy well uncle jimmy specifically but this is how it looks like elmer's glue so let's start it
Now, with that going on my hair, you guys can see how it looks by itself. I will say it's super moisturizing. See that? All right, now we're going to take this gel and apply it. That's the consistency of the gel. It's really thick. Really thick. So now I'm just going to take this. We're going to apply this from roots to end. Excuse me, from end to roots. Now I'm not going to put too much on this part because I just want to lay it down. Like I said, I'm about to um, braid it. More specifically, I'm about to corner roll this part. And I think I can do this on camera pretty neatly. I can braid pretty well, so you know, corn rolling is not an issue for me. I would give y'all a little quick mini lesson on how to corn roll, but this is not the video. I have to <laughs> do one separately for y'all. So we're gonna braid this down. And when I braid, I'm trying to braid towards my edges. I'm not necessarily getting my edges in the braid, but I just want the braid to be closer to my forehead so that way it can be showing off. That way people can actually see it, you know. Since so this is like a cute little style I'm gunning for. A lot of water going everywhere. Now we're going to do the exact same th thing to this side right here. And I'm spraying warm water on my hair. More than likely before I put any type of product, I do that all the time because I want the product to absorb more in my hair. And that's with anything. That's with deep conditioners, anything. just gonna take a closer look so I can see what I'm doing here just need to get my placement like I said we're gonna corn roll towards the front towards the starting point of my forehead As you can see, as I plait my hair down, I'm making sure I take my fingers and continuously stroke it through my hair because we're not trying to get any tangles. Especially while my hair is wet. I'm not trying to break off nothing. My ends are already screaming. Ooh. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Let's move on. So let's see what side I want to start with first. So now that we got that out the way, I'm going to take my hair, I'm going to divide it into three sections. And this time I'm only doing three because of the way my hair is already set up. It's like some of it is already in braids, out of my way, so I don't really have to worry about too much. So, this section back here, I'm going to take it. I'm going to divide it into two sections. We're going to clip that. Take the other one. And we're going to divide that one section in half. And now, what I'm going to do, take my warm water, like I said, with my hair, for my hair texture. Warm water helps the product to absorb more in my hair. And when I do a wash and go, I like for my hair to be not soaking wet, but, well, yeah, almost soaking wet. Because I'm trying to achieve a certain um look. 
So, as you can see, I'm stroking from the ends of my hair to the roots. Gently. I want to make sure this thoroughly detangled before I apply that gel. Now, I'm going to apply this gel from ends to root, guys. Hmm. See what I my thoughts on this gel right now. The gel is like let me show y'all how it's looking right now. The gel is giving me slip, but not grip. So what I'm basically saying is, you know how like well the extreme gel for example times it. Times it. I'm so country. Time I apply the extreme gel to my hair, it just grips that thing. But this one here has a lot of slip. Maybe it's in combination with the curl maker and the curl maker has something to do with it, maybe. So now we're just gonna do the exact same thing on this side here. That's how my curls are looking right now. Pretty good. I don't know why, but with this gel, y'all, I feel like all the product is just slipping on the floor. <laughs> like, that's just how I feel. So I don't really know. Let's see. Wait a minute, honey. To make things easier for me. We're gonna take that section and section it off because I'm not finna accidentally break off my hair or nothing like that. So, take a smaller section.
Dang y'all, I literally forgot to spray that part. It didn't really need that much. But when I do spray my hair with warm water, with spritz my hair with warm water, I um, make sure I focus on my ends. That's my main goal, to focus on my ends, as always. And I know y'all like, why you keep picking in the camera and not letting us see? I'm just trying to make sure that um, I'm getting everything. Really folks be like it don't take this girl no time to do a wash and go that's because i know my hair like i know how to deal with it so wash and go don't take long for me and if you see me going like this it's because i'm trying to avoid my hair knotting up so I'm gonna gently pull that apart where it naturally separates we're not gonna force that to separate well my jacket is super wet under here Towards the front of my hair, I try to do the section smaller simply because I want that definition to be there, you know. That's the part of my hair that's going to be showing the most. I have one more piece. That was too much product just in there. Uh... Right, guys, I am done applying all the product. And I know you guys are like, well, what you gonna do with these braids hanging? As soon as I can locate my bobby pins, I'm just gonna pull them back like this. Each braid back like that, and my hair is gonna hang over it, per usual. So it's gonna look like a little headband and fixie. It's gonna be real cute, but let me do a little spin around for you guys, hold on. Do a little turnaround for y'all. Wait a minute, I got stuck. Mm -hmm. 
Well, so far I do like the uh, definition it's giving me, but I can't wait to see how it looks when it dries. But guys, that's it for today. Thank you all for tuning in to another segment of one of my crazy combos. Again, the things that I use, the products that I use today will be the um, Uncle Jimmy's Curl Maker, which is bomb, and also the Eco KGF Styling Gel. Now, however, I will film a separate video going into detail about these products, but stay tuned. Toodles.